Looking for my pencil. Looking too far. Okay, we got a couple. Pencil sharp, sharpish. And we're going to measure a bridge. We're going to measure a bridge. We got uh, nine, nine. <laughs> Nine and a half centimeters. Nine point five. Nine point five centimeter. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, what do we have here? We have about we got nine right there. So from the edge, hmm. I think I wanna go a little bit away from the edge. I'll give us an extra eighth of an inch. And we're going to go for how, um, <clears throat> you know, the sweet spot on a guitar is uh, no higher than a half inch. So if I calculate that onto here, I'm going to go for one eighth, one eighth above this guy. So it's about an eighth in and an eighth out. We'll go for a quarter inch, you know. Eighth and an eighth. Let's go for a little more than a, than a quarter. Let's go for for uh, five sixteenths, which uh, you know we're gonna go to centimeters. In centimeters. Uh, we're gonna have. Uh, let's go with uh, nine. <laughs> yeah, let's just go with nine because. Um, we might have to trim it and always make it a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. And we were saying nine and a half in length. So again, I'll go a little bit longer, like say nine, nine point six. Oh, yes. And then, uh, you know, I'll eyeball it because I was always told I had a very good eye. So, and you know, trust your, trust your eyes. And over here, well, if I went with the nine, pretty bang on <laughs> bang on by eye yeah yeah to the millimeter by eye well that's a parallel line i have this thing for straight lines um if i could tell a story i'll tell the story i was uh i actually um if I haven't told it in one of my talks, in my life talk, 9-11 life talks, talks, because uh, it fits with this, uh, with what I was just doing there, you guys witness. I mean, I use a ruler, but uh, I use my, I eyeball the distance, so I, I was able to make like parallel line without uh, double checking first. Anyways, make long story, go back, I want to go back to 1984. Uh, I think it was 8045 smoking cigarettes okay unbelievable like grade five like come on 11 years old uh, so I'm 11 years old and we're smoking cigarettes a group of us in the backyard at uh, elementary school at Saint Marc in Kansiak uh, Montreal Quebec Canada and uh, you know, 
was smoking cigarettes in an elementary school. <laughs> so think about that. Anyway, uh, I, I, now I think I feel it's on, on, so real, surreal to think about it at, at that age, 11, and not just smoking in elementary school, but smoking in a group. And I was the one giving them out, giving them, giving them around. And uh, so anyway, so the principal um, called <coughs> called me and uh, one other uh, that had been caught smoking, um, or you know, or the one who tattletailed, which who was the guy giving them out? So me and uh, this one other person got called in. I think it was Remy Valiyev. I'm trying, I don't know if it was Remy or maybe even one of the girls. Uh, what was her name? Ah, damn, I forget her name. She got ran over by a bus once and survived. Uh, crazy, what was her name? She had a little brother too. Um, anyhow, I can't, I can't remember. Um, but we're in the principal office, office, officer, officer, uh, principal place, and he confirmed, like, with the other person that I was the one with the cigarettes, and then as, uh, they came out, uh, I was called in, and I was a little bit, like, uh, I don't know not really scared because of the way he was looking at me <laughs> he gave me the like he you know he had a serious look but it was like almost like as if he was an uh npr if i'm even using that term correctly uh like a, a robot machine of some sort that's that position there to help me along <laughs> or something like i gotta had to pass some kind of test with the principal uh at of the school at 11 for for passing around smokes it just I don't know what happens to kids these days you know when if that were to happen I don't think it happens these days has been such a uh, come come off of cigarettes approach in society in America like uh, commercials were banned uh, oh man back in the 80s they were uh, in magazines they were on TV they were like Today, like if today was back in the eight, we had Facebook today back, like back in the eighties, you'd ha see a tobacco, a cigarette commercial or while you're scrolling your Facebook, you'd no doubt see a see a tobacco commercial anyway. So, um, you know, thank I don't I don't know what to say about uh, smoking. You know, I quit, so I'm glad I quit smoking. Um, uh, so anyway, started at eleven, yeah. So back to the story. Um, the principal was like, Michel, uh, please sit down, you know, in French, uh, asseyez-vous. And, uh, he says, est-ce que tu le sais? You know, do you know, you know, um, que tu es quelqu'un avec influence? You know, uh, you are a person with influence. So, uh, I was like, Okay, you know, and he says, you gave out those cigarettes to the, to those other kids. And I was yeah. like, yes, it was me, you know, I was, so I was honest about the thing. And he smiled right away. And he said, I'm glad you're honest. I'm content que tu es honnête de ça. Là, maintenant, je vais te parler de quelque chose. Because I must have been maybe pissing in my pants at that point, like, or shaking or something uh, and but he says to me anyways he says I would like to show you something Mr. Morton and I'm like okay um, so he takes out a piece of paper and he takes a pencil and he draws a straight line down the pe down the uh, on the paper and he had the other person uh, who was who was sitting outside uh, come back in and Ask them to do the same next to his line, and their line was a little bit wobbly. And then he asked me to, to do a line, and my line was, was nice and straight. So he just lifted his uh, eyebrows and then looked at me. And, you know, I didn't think about anything of it. And then he said, 
you know, because we didn't think anything of it. We had no idea what he was trying to tell us. Uh, he has excused the other student, and then, and then uh, alone with me, uh, th told me again. He said, "Now, now, without even looking at these other lines, uh, make me a straight line, as as straight as you can do it, as you can make it." So I grabbed a pencil and I made this this line on a piece of paper, and then he grabs a ruler and he puts it up to the line, and it was perfectly matching. And I was like, wow. Uh, somewhere I was like, okay, I get, okay, I get it. This guy wants me to know that that a pencil can make a straight line and it's some some of others are going to... I still didn't understand what the fuck he was trying to say. So he's uh, telling me, you are the one who gave cigarettes to everybody and you know how to make this straight line. And I want you to know that that you're a leader and that because you're a leader you have responsibilities and and he seemed to be able to make a straight line too so I don't know if he was like sort of like maybe suggesting that you know that he was the big boss principal of the school and that someday you know maybe I can also be the you know big boss of something or whatever or like a leader someone someone of a you know a, who can do the 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 one higher uh, 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 ta talent with with my body and my eyes, so um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that story because he said to me, you know, as much of a leader as you are, and you're gonna have to be careful. And in our backyard, like we don't want you smoking with the kids. Okay, it's like not to be smoking, not during the school. Like whatever you guys do after school or on your way home is your business. But you shouldn't even be smoking at your age. They at least they knew that much, eh? Back then, like that, maybe eleven was in fact a bit young smoking. Yeah. And uh, anyhow, so that's my my straight line story. To, thought I'd put that in there. And uh, yeah, so I just created that, that parallel straight line right there in front of you. I don't know if you could see it. That light is too bright, girl. C'est trop brillant. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Yeah, okay, love you guys.